doubleheader, the last doubleheader of the week, actually. With me, sadly, there's not going to be a Chad today, but there is going to be a Mythic. Hello. Yes, and our first game of this doubleheader is going to be Aggressively Average versus Puppies and Kittens. Puppies and Kittens currently sit in, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's solo fourth. I think they're tied with uh, Cocked and Loaded for fourth and fifth. While Aggressively Average is currently on the outside looking in, but if they get a regulation win today, they'll be right into the playoff race. And by right. right in, I mean they'll be, I believe, sixth place. I believe we'll have three teams at 14 points. If Wait. Aggressively Average wins this in regulation, they will be at 14. So that is three teams tied for fourth. Which, chaos. Maximum chaos. I've got some <laughs> good news, too. We cannot physically go to Oregon. So we're going to Chalet. Another no very Oregon matches today. Yeah, a very popular, I would say, map. I would say probably Oregon is number one and Chalet is probably number two. Well, maybe Club is number two. I don't know. We like in terms of like playtime. In terms of like pick rate in Bro League. Oregon's number one right now. But Oregon. Club did see a lot of action. Oregon is by far number one, and Club did see a lot of action. It's weird though. Be I don't know. I haven't looked back at all the scenes or all the things. Whatever. Uh, so we have some roster announcements for subs. Uh, in the place of Kinger will be N German. I almost said Norman for some reason. Uh, for the side Norman of Puppies and Kittens. And yes. And in place of Polo for the side of Aggressively Average, we will be having Dr. T. Thunder, who has a beautiful Teddy Roosevelt profile picture, I might add. <laughs> I love Teddy. Not in, like the, not in the, like, the I think he did no wrong kind of way, but just kind of reading about him. Big stick fascinating for sure utterly fascinating but anyway as we are actually running on a decently tight schedule here we're going to go ahead and get to this game as soon as possible let me go ahead and start the discord stream there you are sir and let's Beautiful. get ready to rumble so we have puppies and kittens starting on the attack and aggressively average starting on the defense side on chalet which side do you think is better to start with on Chalet, I think attacking mm. is better. I think it's an attacker-sided map, although this is Bro League. I feel like it would depend on how my team is feeling that day. Right. If we're feeling aggressive, I think it would also depend on what I feel, or what my team feels like is the strongest side. Yeah, the I mean, we've seen your team previously be pretty attacker-sided, so yes. I think this map would probably work well to that strength. Yes, it's a map we have not played yet this season, despite our best efforts. Yeah, despite wanting to the most. I believe this is a map that we have consistently left as, like, our second-to-last ban, and then it just consistently gets banned for something else. Which, I mean, it's working, but... Still. <laughs> the tears coming through. It hurts. And we do see the Finca ban coming from Puppies and Kitten. That's interesting, because I don't remember many players on Aggressively Average really like using the Finca very much. And what's interesting is German on Puppies and Kittens, their sub does use Finca a lot. Yeah, but he uses Ophia just as much. He likes that LMG. He doesn't care how he Very gets cool. it. Right. 151 bullets, 150 bullets. It's all roughly the same to him. I like the Cade ban. I do like the Cade ban. Cade is a very popular and a very strong ban. I think he's probably my go-to defender to ban now. Because I'll be honest, Valk isn't as much of an issue anymore, I don't really feel. Depends. I mean, if you've got an IQ and you're spotting those cams, or if you know where they are, you're seeing them in the prep phase, then you're good. But if there's a Valk cam that you don't spot and it's in a good position, it's so much intel. We do have a my ban. Were those bans targeted at... Was that ban targeted at callout? <laughs> yep, I think <laughs> that's... I th think that it was at the very least. I think... Well, she, both she and Hank play my quite often. I do remember Hank had an ace, I believe, with Wamai last time this team went to Chalet. Really? I believe I so. He was running the AUG with a Russian red dot. No comment? No, nothing? I'm trying to see. I was going to go look into the uh, player base to see 
defend all the aces. I was not aware that he had an ace. I believe he did. He might not. Someone might have stolen this from him last second. He's currently running the IQ. I think IQ is a very underrated operator right now with the sheer amount of utility the defenders can bring. And she's right. going to be very useful this round. She's going to be yeah, able to they find have those. Valk, they have the Jaeger. They have the Legion, Legion with the Gumines and Frost, who's running the... Not Frost. His name's Frost, but he's running the Thunderbird. Yes. His name is Frost. We're going to call him Simon multiple times. I guarantee it. Yep. That's how it goes. That's just how it goes. Ten seconds remaining. All right. It's what. What's interesting to me here is that we don't see a mute Five being brought. We don't see a bandit being brought. There's no wall denial being brought, basically at all. Yeah, they actually don't have any, which is going to mean a free wall for these attackers if they go up to the canine window. But they don't seem to be going for it. I think they're going to make a library push, which is odd. Well, library push is also very acceptable. You either start library side and push over, or you start canine and push over. Or you can honestly do both, like what we're seeing right now. Have one player yeah, play you canine. Don't, you don't usually send your ace over there. No, that part is semi-true. You usually keep the ace over by the canine side to get ready to open that wall as soon as possible. They know that it looks like it's only Legion who's playing up on mezzanine. Oh, Hank might want to get aggressive here. They do have a drone, so they know that someone has come in to reinforce, help, something along those lines. And it looks like we're just kind of have a lot of droning to start off with. A lot of droning, but not a lot of shot drones so far. We've only, they've only lost three. Oh. You know he gets taken down. It looks like Hank will get credit with the kill, meaning he downed him. German was just the one who put the final bullet in the coffin. Right. Bomb located by attacker. Uh, is it playing underneath. Dr. Thunder is playing above. And I believe the side of the attackers have just now realized that there is actually nothing on this wall. Oh, right. He's looking for the drone. Just can't find it. Sometimes the drones can be a little elusive. But now we will see aggressively average to open up that wall. Highlights managers to get a pick. Picks up what remains of, some, of Hank's health and manages to dip away unseen. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm reloading. Wait for it. Careful of the stairs. Oh, there's so much. I think they ran off the stairs, though. They are no longer on the stairs. But that was just to drop diffuser and to run back. Oh, that C4's not connected. Oh, will get it? And it will get the kill. I thought it was too far away. But highlights with a good double. But German manages to pick up the refrag. Baby Merch is going to play aggressive here. He's going to peek down into piano. He's not going to down the castle, but he's on very low health. He has half wall. He does have case there. Does. He's going to get taken up by Frost. Who's Frost on the gets, wall. Two, gets a double kill, and now it's all down to German. Frost getting a little aggressive here. That's an LMG. You don't want to be constantly swinging that, but he knows he can just hold now. All that remains is German for the side of puppies and kittens. They're sub, and they're going to need some help here. Slowly working his way up. Got one kill, but he's gonna need to make it four if he wants to win this round. And he's gonna get taken up by Frost, who plays aggressively against that. Well, actually, directly to his team name. He was aggressive, but perhaps not so average with that triple kill that round. Directly to his team name? That's an insult. Aggressively average is an insult. Well, no, but I said aggressively, but not average, because he got a 3k. I guess, I guess that is... Let's. Uh, what do you think, Mythic? Do you think being called aggressively average is an insult? Yes. You but think that's so? that's why I said aggressively but not average that is very yeah, i think aggressively average well it depends i mean there's that whole thing of uh like would you rather be uh a jack of all trades but a master of none or like a master of one that's not the saying i don't remember what the saying is no, but it's similar I, to that I, I know what you're saying it, it's i think the saying so is if you're just... average at everything yeah that's not so bad <laughs> Simon knows that I'm the one best aim of my life. But <laughs> everyone's going to see that message. <laughs> By the way, did you tell the server, uh, the raw server, that there was a game going on? Yes. Okay, so they're aware now. The fan they club are is aware. out. Yep. Good, good, good. I still can't believe you constantly forgot to tell them. But moving on to this next round actually let's continue that little talk would you rather be a jack of all trades or a master of one Ten seconds to go. well depends on like to what level that jack of all trades extends to like can i 
fly even if it's not very good flying? I mean, or is it okay. of like all reasonable conditions? See, but technically I can fly, just not for very long. That's silly. No, you can fall, but you cannot fly. Well, what so is, what is, what is it, like? What is flying but just prolonged oh, falling? Well, but it's falling with direction. Yeah, you so can it's only still fall just in falling. one direction. No, that's not true. If I jump off of something with my momentum, I can fall forward. I can fall backwards. I can fall straight down. But the primary force at any point will be down. Oh, of course that's the primary force. <laughs> it's just flying is just falling with style. Oh, that's there. And German Ooh. will catch highlights out. That's an opening. LMG go burr. And that's an early opening pick, too. I hate that he runs the 2.5 on the LMG. It just feels wrong to me. Hey, but so far, he's effective with it. That is true, but it's still... Oh. Reload! Oh, I think that was shoot a little, his teammate there. I think that was a little bit of team damage. See, he wouldn't have done that with the two, with any other site but the 2.5. <laughs> a little bit too zoomed in. He's a little too zoomed in. Now, we do see they're going to get that mez wall open. This is actually a very interesting hold we're seeing, and Norway will pick up the first kill all the way down underneath onto Jay. Are we going to see it very similar to the first round where Puppies and Kittens manage to get that opening pick and they can't convert? Time will tell. Frost this time playing so aggressively up in that closet. He has the ah, shield, that's but that's going to get burned out, and the nade's going to pop onto him. Not enough damage to take him out. Not Still enough damage okay. somehow. I don't know how he lived. Oh, Nyx is actually in a very aggressive position here. I wonder if they know. Echo's going to be shooting just a little bit. Nyx hold. Nyx will pick up one. And he'll pick up a second before he gets refragged by German. That's hard breach gone. Oh, but German's going to get a third. Three oh, on the round. But the health is a concern right now for them. All that's left now is Norway and Thunder underneath. Thunder, I don't know a lot about Thunder, actually. I don't know how, how much he's played. What his stats are. I do like that skin on that gun. What is that? It's pretty. I, oh, I, I don't... really want to say that that's a division skin. I think that's in the, uh, not challenges, but it, it's in the rewards for Ubisoft Club. You might be right. I looks like they're still, they're going to look to do a hatch drop, but this is very, very risky. That Mira can just be a major thorn in their side the entire way. And you still have the castle. But it looks like they're going to rotate on over, and they are indeed going to rotate over to Bar instead. Thunder's going to work his way up slowly. Norway will get one. Thunder won't be able to get the other. Thunder will get downed. All that's left now is Norway with no health effectively. Oh, and Callout gets it! Using the Han Solo pistol. I love this weapon. Yep. With that low health, just needed to hit one shot and does manage to. What a round. Very close there at the end. Very close there. It's always, you know, I think Nomad especially, she does get another option for a pistol. I think she gets the PRB, right? The Capitao or Cav pistol? Capita yeah, she gets the Capitao pistol too, which I run. Yeah, I feel like especially for her, that's probably the better choice. I think, however, on Cade, using the Han Solo pistol, as I like to call it, you will I never like usually is the better option. You get eight shots instead of six, which you would get with a revolver. You will never convince. You have a cool me. scope. You will never convince me the Han Solo pistol is better. It is okay. You know what? I have a lot of one taps to prove that it's fun at least. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fun. I'll give you fun. Yeah. But better? That's very subjective, good sir. That's very subjective. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. It looks like a very similar setup from this side of aggressively average, but instead of the Echo, we're gonna have Frost running the Valk, which I think is I think it's the better change. I think Valk just works better as the roamer, which is what they seem to want to do with the Echo. Also, you can reinforce that. I don't know why the hatch was open, actually, now that I think about it. Or was closed. Because usually if you have an Echo playing that aggressive in that corner, you want the hatch open to allow him to drop back to sight if he needs to. 
This is the calm before the storm. It is. We're going to see a slow attempt to hold by the defenders. They want to make as much time as they possibly can. That's their ultimate goal, and it is on their side. It is. Looks like German's going to play very passive on this front door. Just wants to see if he can get someone to swing out. This might actually just be a basement run-up and rush. I think that's exactly what we're going to see here. They're going to get that open. That's actually really bad for the side of the defenders to lose that so early. That's a power position when it comes to holding the site. It is important to have that reinforced, and they had three reinforcements left in order to do so, but it didn't get done. It did not. It looks like just a minor oversight as more team-friendly fire occurs. That is <laughs> this time on the side of the defenders. Yes. Oh, German gets his feet seen and gets taken down by Nyx. Gets, just gets a little too close to that door. That's actually really bad for the side of the attack as well. Because that means that you don't have that front door cut off anymore. I'm sure they'll probably rotate someone on over to do it. But this attack right now is in a precarious position. Oh, Frost manages to get one. Not the second, though, as Merchant picks up his first of the round. Of the game so far, not round. But now it's a 3v3. Oh, Nyx, Nyx will just miss a couple shots. But Merchant will get taken down by Norway. Once again, though, Norway's on low health. Highlights picks up one on a J, and now it's all down to call out once again. The IGL of the side of puppies and kittens. It's a dangerous situation, though. They must know that they have Case down. They They're must. both waiting to try to see if they can spot her. She does not grab where Case. She's at, though. I don't know if they know where she's at. I don't. I'm hearing yellow pings, and I don't know if that is her being told where people are on site, or if that's her being told, or the people on site being told where she is. Highlights will look the wrong way and Kala will win out. Now both her and Norway on low health. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. Gonna pick up diffuser and work her way into bar. Norway's going to get the sound call though and know exactly where she is. She slowly works now her way in. Good. Work to his disadvantage. But he is gonna spot her before she can him. Those Big were... kill there for Norway securing that round. Just keeps coming down to Norway and call out. That's what we're seeing so far. Pretty good hold by aggressively average. I'm still confused why that wall wasn't reinforced into stock. I, it wouldn't have made a huge difference because as we saw with the Mav from Merchant, they were just going to make a line underneath. And what you can do is for main stairs, you can hold basically stock and just shoot the feet out of whoever plays right. there. But, eh, you didn't know that they were bringing the Mav. You still yeah. should have probably reinforced that. Right. We still see no wall denial from the side of aggressively average. Attackers need to locate they are up 2-1, though, so maybe they know something that we don't. Maybe they do. Maybe they do, indeed. Norway will return to his lesion. Norway's having a pretty good game. Nyx is having a pretty good game. Highlights is having a pretty good game. Frost is having a pretty good game. Everyone on the side of Aggressively Average is doing pretty well. Thunder is his first bro Broly game. He's probably got a bit of nerves. You know, he'll get there. He'll. That's the beauty of Broly, is I feel like the player improvement that we've seen in a lot of teams and a lot of players has been very well, has been very high. Right. We do see, uh, I think, an identical attack setup to their first time of top floor, except in place of the IQ, we have Hank playing the Sledge. Right, which I think may come to bite them. I mean, after all, we do see Frost again on that Valkyrie. We do see Frost on that Valkyrie, but Sledge, you know, he's got frag grenades. He's got a good gun. Not a great gun. It's it, I would say that gun is aggressively average. <laughs> I think I'm inclined to agree. I think it does its job and it does it well, but I don't think its job is particularly impressive. I Yes, I, that is exactly what I think. I think it is probably... Uh, no gun should be... Well, I guess some guns should be worse than the L8, but... Okay, they're going to open up that wall, and they're going to get the wall open immediately afterwards from these Selmas. Unless Norway manages to shoot... Uh, well, that's the hard reach all gone, I believe. Yep. Uh, they don't have... <laughs> Any more Selmas. They have no hard breach at all. Uh, they have exactly a singular sight line into the site, but they can't get in from that main wall. Right. That is... 
unfortunate, and it's because there's been no pressure at all on the Mez player. He was able to just pretty much entirely for free walk up and in. Callout does manage to pick up the first kill onto Highlights. It looks like they're going to swap on over to a solar push. They kind of have to now. Pushing your way through piano is not a recipe for success. Oh, nah. Jaeger will get caught, but Nyx is going to be able to get away. No harm, no foul there as Nyx manages to run off. Sledge is going to repel in these windows. They don't have those walls reinforced. Oh, Sledge and... Sledge and Castle will be taking some gunfights here, as it looks like Aggressively Average is just going to be playing and waiting to see where this push is called from. They might know that Thunder is in danger, and that looks like where Nyx is going to start working his way back, especially as Tank manages to pick up the kill onto Thunder. There is no one actually remaining for them on site. Yeah, we will see a full retreat called. There's going to be someone on Big Window. Norway picks up one, but the Big Window will down Nyx. Recharge going off behind him. German manages to pick up Frost. It's all down to Norway now. He'll need to get the ace. He will get one. He hears someone coming up. Oh, but he won't catch Merchant. Uh, I feel like what's really, really hurting the side of aggressively average is just the complete lack of reinforcements. And what's weird especially is each time they're having reinforcements, that round they had four spare. I, it could just be that there's a sub on their team. There's some communication issues going on there. Very well, maybe. But, you know, not bringing any... Not reinforcing all the walls. Not bringing wall denial. This It does add up a bit. I mean, I don't think... That round, they had no more hard breach. If they had had that solar wall reinforced, there's no way they could get through it. Correct. I also think their roam probably was a bit too intense. Once you know that the hard breach is completely useless, just everyone fall back to sight at that point and hold angles. Right, they can't make any more new lines of sight as long as it's reinforced. Yep. I will also say though, whoever made the call on puppies and kittens to push solar instead made the correct call there, in my opinion at least. E even if that wall is fully reinforced, it's just a better push than pushing into piano blind. Yeah. Especially with, you know, you get on that big window, you can cut off the piano, rotate back into sight. It, it's just better. Let's see as we continue on to this next round. Norway is going to be playing the smoke now. Very interesting choice, leaving the Legion. Well, Nyx is put back on the Jaeger. Highlights is going to be picking up Mozzie. I think that's fine. I think that we've seen a lot of drone work come from the side of Puppies and Kittens. This could help stop me in. And Frost will pick up the Valve once again. I can't see exactly. It looks like we're just going to have a stock standard push from the side of Puppies and Kittens. You know, I'm worried this time, aggressively average, they have even more reinforcements there. They have five this time. That is true. What reinforcements have they missed? They're going to get the main wall open for free unless Nyx can shoot them off once again. And it looks like Nyx will do just that, but he won't prevent. That's a vault hole that will be available. There is a reinforcement there. They have once again not reinforced solar top. Don't quite know if that'll come back to hurt them or not. I guess we will find out. As Jay takes his opening gunfight and Merchant actually takes one as well, managing to pick up Thunder, but taking a lot of damage in the process. Norway's getting very aggressive, and as Nyx is going to scamper up the stairs just a little bit. Looks like the plan here might be that they have highlights play over on Solar side and call out if there's a push coming. Reload! Callout's going to take control of Library, get thrown in. I believe Hank is with him. I don't. They do so much Nyx over there on those blue stairs. They do. He, he doesn't. Swing to be aggressive. He doesn't see, see Hank. The toes of Hank. Prone. No, that's unfortunate. He had, he had the right play there and the right aggression. He just ultimately didn't see Hank. Oh, but that's a pick from Frost managing to get Merchant on the jump in. Oh, and that smoke is not at all going to be obscuring on Jay's side as Norway tries to swing out. Still won't be obscuring at all. The plant is going to go down from German. And that will down him as Highlight picks up Hank. This is suddenly winnable. Not now, though. Jay manages to pick up highlights. 
And now it's all down to Simon. Does he know? They know that he's gonna come up blue. And Jay will pick him up. down, but it won't matter. It won't matter at all. And this once again. I, I, it doesn't seem, what? <laughs> that was the headshot? I guess so. That's unfortunate. Uh, but just again, it, I, I will say it is unfortunate for Norway that that smoke nade did not obscure K9 quite literally at all. Well, it obscured for him, but it didn't obscure right. Jay. At all. But at the same time, just, they just get a little too aggressive, I feel. No, obviously I don't. I don't know what the calls are. I don't know what Valk is saying. But who knows? It's difficult to know from the booth, but at the same time, it does appear that that will cost them the round, so... It will indeed. Puppies and Kittens move Defenders to be up their first lead of the attack. game so far. We have seen usually back and forth rounds. You know, we went... Aggressively average went up one, then puppies kittens tied, aggressively average went up one, then puppies kittens tied, and then that was the first back-to-back -back round win for either side, with puppies and kittens picking up their third attack. So we'll see if aggressively average can answer back this time. Looks like there's still there's still seven reinforcements that haven't been used. Well, now we're down to six of them. Does look like Thunder is going to be playing this castle? They're gonna full reinforce those walls. There's two different ways you can play this, roughly. You can leave these walls open and have a reinforcement back here on solar and play the solar side. Or you can basically make this a bunker here, area here, and just hold. Especially with that castle, it allows you to do it a lot better. It does. We see Frost returning that echo. I don't know, I feel like the Valk might just overall be better. German pre-firing so. garage. Especially just because if you die, nobody can use the... Disorientation can, on the yokai. Yeah, no one can use the disorientation. People can still use them as normal camps. Oh, right. they might catch highlights here. She is going to punch, not highlights. No, was that highlights? No, that's Nyx on the bandit. Wait, who the hell is up there? I think that was Echo. It was Echo, and Merchant's going to pick him up as the opening pick on the Frost. Merchant's getting really aggressive. He's the only hard breach, and he's the diffuser right now. I don't know who's playing that shield. It looks like it's Highlights. Highlights will do a lot of damage to Jay, but won't get the kill. And I believe that's Nyx now who's coming up to play. We've got a very, very aggressive roam as German manages to pick up Thunder. They're going to drone out and get Nyx, and they're going to pick up the frag. This is just too much aggression on the side. What are you doing, aggressively average? They do pick up one. That's sight. That's Hank down, but Callout will get the refrag. I, I aggressively average just quite frankly look lost. They were swinging again and again on that office side and it didn't really seem like they needed to. They had the reinforcements still up for bedroom. They had the reinforcement up for like bedroom. They, to force that fight. they had a shield on piano. Like just, it's very underrated, but just let the attackers come to you sometimes. Like you don't, like I get it, you're down, you lost first pick, you want to try and get that first pick. But the worst thing you can do is start swinging off of no intel. And the one thing puppies right. and kittens are particularly good at is it is very rare you will find anyone alone. Yes. They almost always are stacking. Yes. They're almost always, I wouldn't say five stack, but they usually run roughly the same attack again and again and again. And they usually do it as a team. They don't have hero players, usually. But puppies and kittens managed to win the attack in half. 4-2 as they move on to their defenses. We will see German picking up that Valk, Jay playing the Tachanka, Hank on the Bandit, Merchant on the Jaeger, and Callout on the Mute. We'll be playing the MP5K though, so it looks like they're going to be relying on... Unless, well, did he bring the LMG is the question mark here. Because that depends on if they have any, any ability to open up walls or not. I have to imagine he brought the LMG. The LMG is... If you bring Tachanka, you usually bring the LMG. Five yeah, the sausage is decent and the captain. I am now what beginning to think that they haven't Jackson brought uh, the LMG because of the fact that they just use a C4 to make that rotate. We can't see it. He will not. He refuses to switch off. <laughs> he refuses to switch off the pistol. But they do have wall denial, so that will stymie me aggressively average just a little bit. A lot of gunfights happening right out the gate. I hear a lot of bullets. 
Jay still is only running the pistol, and he's on cams right now for the side of his team. Nick's just going to hit the wall. Hit the window open, I should say. Take a lot of opening damage from, I believe that was Jaeger? That, no, that wasn't Jaeger. That would be the Bandit that he took a lot of opening damage from. Bandit playing a very aggressive position here, and I believe Jay is on the cam. Well, Jay is just cycling through cams. No, nope, slowly working his way up. Frost might not be aware, though, that they have someone just cycling through cams constantly. Out of AR. I think he's more so just waiting to see if... Spot him. I think he's just more so waiting to see if the bandits... And that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, no! Right as Frost moves away! Timing. The timing is off. They're going to miss each other. They're going to miss each other completely! And Hank is going to be in library now! And set up a C4! I don't know if Frost is aware of it at all, and it doesn't seem like he is at all. They will know that someone's on blue now. But if they hop in that window... If they hop in that window, that's a C4 going off. And there it is. The roam clear just missing, and Hank will pick up a second now. That ends up... That'll probably be the round right there. Letting Hank slip away like he did. And now they're pushing up main stairs. They seem to just have completely given up trying to find this bandit. And they won't spot bandit from that as bandit is working up underneath. Oh, he's in bar. Do they know where he is? No, but it looks like highlights will pick up call out. Oh, and Frost, no! Frost will finally spot Hank. They know Hank is downstairs, so they might know he's coming up blue. Or Hank could just play this very so very slowly. Just slow work his way up, because he knows, he knows the attack knows that he is in a dangerous position where he is. Jay will be brought down. This is suddenly winnable, but German is going to pick up highlights. That's the sledge gone. All that's left now is Merchant and German on site. German will win the fight against Frost. It's all down to Norway now. Norway will pick up one. Norway will now open up this wall, but he needs to get two kills. They're just playing, and Merchant will swing and win the gunfight. That just comes down to the roam clear right there. 100%. I mean, it was unfortunate timing, but at the same time, not clearing out that bandit, not knowing that he flanked down into games. Such a detriment to this attacking team. It just looks like aggressively average aren't communicating. You know it that there's a bandit. Thing. You know that there's a bandit top blue. So why don't you as the okay, I'm gonna hold his blue rundown. You guys work him out of there. He right. cannot go down blue while I am staying here in bar. Especially he probably didn't have ADSs to stop nades. And they did have a sledge and an Ayana. They did. They had a lot of utility to get that bandit out. They had a lot of drone work and ability, too, to get that, but they just... They stumble a little bit, and Hank capitalizes yeah, once again on a roam on Chalet. He's right proven to be a very lethal roamer on Chalet, in particular. Absolutely, and so far we see Puppies and Kittens taking the lead pretty heavy, 5-2. to two. Yeah, this Call game... Expert with 5 kills, Merchant with 6, German with 8. Doing a very good job as their sub. Yeah, Jay with six and four, and Hank with six as well. Yeah. Both teams are doing a very good job right now. Well, obviously, Puppies teams are doing a slightly better job, but really aggressively average, they're not doing horribly. Norway's no. at nine and six, Frost at five and six, Highlights at six and seven. Those aren't bad score lines. Five seconds to go. It's just these rounds. The teamwork on the side of Puppies and Kittens seems much stronger in comparison to aggressively average. I think you're right. I think that is what is winning them so far these rounds. Because you, it, you know, as I've said, every time you kill a member of Puppies and Kittens, there is another player just waiting right there to pick you up. Like a Hydra. Every cut, every head you cut off, another one grows back. Mm -hmm. Now, I do believe that is going to be Merchant playing in basically the suicide position here. You cannot be seen from those windows. It is required that it takes Util to get you knocked out of that position. And it looks like Hank is going to be holding that single window to try and help hold Merchant and keep him alive. The side, the side of Aggressively Average will know that he's in that position. Oh, Merchant takes a very aggressive swing. Merchant won't be blinded as they're just going for this plant and will just pick up the kill for free. 
because Hank manages to pick up Frost on the single window, and that's going to be a lot of fire down. German will pick up highlights. This game is quickly approaching its conclusion, at least in my eyes. Nyx and Thunder, I mean, all that's left. I don't know what the play was there. You know the Jaeger's in that position, and you still decide to jump in and go for the plant? I mean, I think the hope was that the Ying Candelas would blind people enough, but they didn't clear out that Jaeger. So with his free line of sight from above, it was just, I mean, skeet shooting, all he had to do was point and click. That's exactly all he had to do. Puppies and Kittens, by the way, with a win here would at least momentarily tie for second place. Right. Which is important for bye week purposes. They're a team who wants to... Every team right now is jostling for those playoff spots, but they're also trying to jostle first and second get bye weeks, which are very big going into the major. A lot of teams will want to practice doing best of threes for the first time ever. We see Merchant. Merchant and Hank cleaning up, holding that library, just not even really particularly contested all that much. And we're down. Aggressively Average is down 6 2. Now, that's not to say they could still pull something back, but five, I would argue, dominant rounds from Puppies and Kittens. I am in inclined a row. to agree. It seems that their teamwork is very much showing out here does indeed look like their teamwork is just caught too much for aggressively average to handle on the side of aggressively average it just looks like their communication is breaking down at points yeah i mean probably one of the most important things you can do there is flushing out that jaeger they didn't really do a lot to do that i mean they spent i think one nade it got ads and they just stopped attacking it not only did they stop attacking it, they jumped in the window at almost the exact same time. So they didn't even have time really to see if the ADS or if the nade was going to pick up that Jaeger. Now, as we are moving on to this next round, I would like to point out this is Merchant's having. Merchant's had a rocky season so far. He was the second leading kill. He was the second kill leader last season. He's having a damn good game so far. A 2.0 KD for the game. Right. Him and Hank. Hank has also been very strong for puppies and kittens all season, really. He's been a consistent. This is a strong team here. This is a. They're a very strong team when their coordination is working. Right. They have uh, against teams that play aggressive and teams that catch them. When they get predictable, like we saw against Team 12, where they all five attacked the exact same side of the map multiple times. That's when they ran into issues. But, I will say, I think Puppies and Kittens have reinvented themselves these last couple weeks. We saw against Vivid Polar, them doing more varied attacks, doing more cool, doing a more aggressive defenses. And now, we're seeing, it looks like they've adapted and they've managed to mix up their playstyle enough that this, is, this looks like an incredibly strong and an incredibly different team. I would definitely agree with that. We do see Val playing so aggressively down there in lobby or in fireplace. Me too. Never mind. He's not playing French. aggressive. Merchant playing very aggressive though. He's definitely feeling it now. He wants to get some opening picks and make sure his team can close this out in 7 2 fashion. Beautiful skin there on that out. Yep, I am also jealous of that. <laughs> oh, he hears the breaching charge being put on that door. He won't catch the feet of the person who did it. But he will now play in a more passive position. I believe that breaching charge might be jammed. But they are going to be droning this again to try and figure out where this castle is. Blow it. Oh, the merchant wisely is just holding off. Swing again. He's wasting a lot of time. It's a minute thirty, by the way. German's still lurking I'm underneath. Fine. They have cams it's not on. Not working for the aggressively average team. Oh, German. German could work his way up and get this sledge. Assuming he's not looking. And I don't know if he is. Oh, but sledge has already worked. Sledge is in that corner, and German will pick him up. But Norway with two huge opening picks for the side of aggressively average. Picks up both Hank and Merchant, two players that I just praised. Now they're going to start working vertical. Now that highlights is dead, they won't have a sledge to do it with. Callout remains on site. German will continue his roam down in the basement. 
Oh, Jay is running that gun. Okay, so he's not running the LMG. He runs whatever that's called. The Russian like SMG. Like 9X9 or something? Yeah, 9XV or something along those lines. We do have Jay who is going to go ahead and start firing off. I believe that's to try and catch the hatch that may or may not be open. Norway's going to rotate his way down, probably go to trophy window, and the hatch is open. German managed to pick up Frost. This is getting dicey now for the side of aggressively average. They still have German on their flank, and they have no way to handle him. Nix is looking to get, going to activate out of Rudigate. Callout managed to pick up Norway, and all of a sudden this is turned on its head. Now it's down to Thunder and Nix. Nix does have a lot of bullets. Does he know where Callout is? That looks like it's Thunder who will get down by the fire, and that's going to be Diffuser Cold. All that remains now is Nix. We have to do it, but he's just gonna get taken out by so many different angles at once, so and that's gonna be the game. Angles. Puppies and kittens, seven to two, and that is the game. This is a scoreboard, very, very strong effort. Every single player of puppies and kittens went positive this game. Right. It looked so close there in the beginning. We saw them each get two rounds, then puppies and kittens getting that third win, and from there they took it, from winning there, all yeah. the next five rounds. They didn't lose a round after that, and now aggressively average. They've got to do. They've got to do some searching. A lot of upsets managed to make it so that if they won this game, they would have a very good chance of making it into playoffs. But they would. Now they're yeah. outside looking in, and they're not improving at all from their position. Difficult situation to be in. However, there are still two remaining games in this season for them, so they do have a chance to turn that around. They do indeed, and hopefully they will turn it around. Anyway, that's going to be it for us. We have the final of our double header coming up, Emotional Damage versus Roas. We'll hopefully get to that to you guys very soon. Uh, but yeah, any final thoughts of that round that we just saw or that game we just saw? I think that we have seen a new leaf by Puppies and Kittens. They looked absolutely beautiful in this game. They had a very strong showing. I think that we are going to see a lot of really good stuff from them. I think they're very happy about this win. I'd be inclined to agree with you. Anyway, that's going to do it for us. We'll see you all in a little bit.